Hey everyone, welcome to challenge number five pre-work. So we're gonna get started by building two different fields in this uh, pre-work section. And those are gonna be on the account object and on the opportunities object. So I'm gonna middle click here inside the sales app on the accounts tab. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opportunities tab. So that we have two tabs open, one for accounts and one for opportunities. I'm going to open up the accounts tab and then I'll just click the little, the little gear icon and press edit object. And then I will go to fields and relationships. And we are going to make a new field here. And we'll just make this uh, a text area long. And so this is just gonna be a long text area field. We'll press next. And this will be called account notes. And so uh, as we mentioned in the discovery section of the challenge introduction, um, this will be the field that quote unquote everyone at Universal Container uses to leave important account information. So not only does the sales team use this field, but also you know the service team or just anyone that happens to be working with an account can update this field. So we'll press next. And I'll just make it visible for everybody. Press next. And I will add it to every layout by leaving all these boxes checked and I'll press save. And then I'm going to click page layouts and I forget what layout the system admin has. So I'll just go look at that. Okay. So everyone's on the account layout. I'm going to open up this account layout and I just want to see where the field is and if we need to move it to make it more prominent. And so it's down here in the description information section. And I think that's probably fine. So if you want to move it, feel free, but I'm just going to leave it there. So it's down at the bottom. Actually, one change I'm going to make is I'm going to move this description up to be the first kind of subsection here. And I'll make it visible uh, by clicking the detail page. And so what I did there is I clicked, there's a little wrench icon on the far right of section properties. And then I just uh, checked the box that said deep detail page here. And this makes it so that when we are uh, looking at the and any account record that we have this little header information. And so um, that's perfect. And I'm going to repeat that same process with the wrench uh, for the section directly below the description information called the address information. And then I'll just press quick save. And that's it. We're done with the account. So I will close out these accounts. And now we're on our opportunities tab. If you don't have opportunities open, just make sure that you click open the tab. You can also navigate there in the object manager. And what we're doing here is we're just going to click edit object so that we can go make a new field on the opportunity. And so I'll click uh, fields and relationship from the opportunity in the object manager. And I'm going to press a uh, new field. And just as we did before, I'm going to make a text area long field, long text area and press next. And we'll call this one opportunity notes. And I'll press next. And we can just leave it visible for all the defaults and press next. And again, I'm going to do just like we did on the account and add it to every layout. And then I'm just going to go double check the layout to kind of see if it's where uh, I would like it to be. So I'll click page layouts here. I'm assuming it's opportunity layout, but I will click page layout assignment just to confirm that our profile is assigned that layout and it is. So we'll open that up. And again, we see that the opportunity notes is kind of down here at the bottom. I'm just going to drag up uh, the description section so that it's second. And just as we did before, I'm going to click the section properties for both the top one, which is the opportunity information. And I'll do detail page and then I'll do the same thing for the description. And I'll just press quick save. And maybe I'll do it for additional information too. Uh, getting those sections right isn't super important. So um, if you don't want them there, it's not required for the challenge. It's more just like a visual thing. I kind of like them like that. But if you have a different preference, feel free to uh, go uh, without having the sections enabled like I do. And so that's it. Um, I think those are all the fields we'll need. Um, I guess we'll we'll find out as we go on to build our flows. So let's let's just recap this um, pre work with another overview of what we're going to be doing in this challenge. So I'm going to click on the accounts tab here. We don't have any recently viewed accounts, but I'm just going to press all, and we will look at Burlington Textiles uh, Corp of America. 
And so I will press details here. And we see that those uh, that section information is now kind of, uh, because we made it editable or visible at the detail level, we get the section here, which is why I did that, um, so that we had a separation between account notes and the other sections. The purpose of this challenge, or what Pedro wants, is that you could imagine the, these account notes could be filled in. So if I'm a service team member at Universal Containers, I could say, uh, Bob is the primary contact, um, and he likes apples. Uh, that's kind of a not helpful message from you know a real business use case, but you could imagine that there's important notes related to Burlington Textiles that's on the account here. And so the first thing that we're going to do for Pedro is that when a new opportunity is created, we are going to copy these account notes down to uh, the opportunity. Oh, I guess we'll need an account notes on the opportunity field. So we'll, we will make that. Uh, the second thing we're going to do for Pedro is that if these account notes ever get updated on the account, we are going to uh, also carry those down and update an opportunity. So let's say an opportunity gets created and uh, we have this uh, note. And then I come in after the opportunity is created and I'm working at the account level, but I make a change to the account level notes. Um, and I say, you know, Bob is the primary contact and he likes apples as well as oranges. By changing this note, uh, Pedro wants that change to also go down to the opportunity level. So we're going to build that. And then let's go look at some of the opportunities here. So we have one opportunity, Burlington Textiles Weaving Plant Generator. We'll open that up. And we see our opportunity notes here, very similar to the one on the account. Uh, but if we enter some info here, Pedro wants us to make sure that um, these notes are copied to any other opportunity on the, or that's related to the account. So if Burlington Textiles has three opportunities and we update the notes on one of them, uh, those notes should carry over to the other uh, opportunities. So those are the flows we're gonna build. Um, let's, let's go take care of that final field. I'll press edit object again from being on the opportunity here. And we'll do uh, fields and relationships and I'll press new. And for this, um, we'll just again do a text area long press next and we will do account notes and some of you that are really savvy on the Salesforce platform may know that there's another way to do this besides building a new field and if you do uh, that's awesome we're going to cover that later in the lecture I will press next on the new uh, field creation and it's important to note this account notes field is on the opportunity and not on the account so we have one account notes on the account and we're, we're gonna have another one here on the opportunity so I'm going to press next again with those defaults. We'll add it to the opportunity layout and press save. I'll go to page layouts. I'll click the opportunity layout and I'm just going to drag the, oh no, they're in the right spot. So we'll just leave those there. Or maybe I can move the account notes up and put the description at the bottom, something like this. And we'll just press quick save. And so that's it. We'll get started in the next lecture by building out our first flow.